guys, Sarah, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today is an empties video and it's not just some ordinary empties. This is six months worth of empties. I have so many things to show you guys. I have them. There's some things that are not in the bags. I have three full bags for you guys today. So I'm so excited to show you guys these videos. I mean, these empties, like, oh my God. But first I need to address something that I've been like, not avoiding, but like, just has come to my attention that there are a few people who think I talk very, very fast. And I do, I know I talk really fast. But I have seen some comments that say that I need to like slow down and I, I hear you, I really do, but I am not going to force myself to talk slower when I just, this is how I talk normally. Like I, I think I don't talk that fast, but I know I do talk fast, but I can understand myself. So if that makes any sense. Um, there is a thing on YouTube where you can like slow me down. There is like 0.5 uh, or like it'd be negative 0.5 and like so on like negative point one point five, like you could do that. I mean, honestly, if I'm being honest, I watch a lot of my YouTube videos in like 1.5, 1.75, even sometimes two times speed, just because I like to hear things faster. And I don't comment on people's videos saying that they talk slow. Like I just think that's not what we should be doing. Sorry if I talk really fast, you can tone me down or if this channel is not for you, I'm so, so sorry to see you go, but I'm just gonna be myself and that's, who I am. So just wanted to address that. But otherwise, I'm super excited to film this video for you guys. I've been like kind of pushing it off like every month. I'm like, oh, maybe I'll film it this month. But then I'm like, okay, it is finally like we're hitting almost Christmas time. Like I need to just film these empties. So this is basically from the last time I filmed the empties video, which was back in May. So May, June, July, August, September, October, we have six months worth of empties. I'm so excited. I will break it up for you guys. So I'll have the timestamps linked down below if you're not interested in all the miscellaneous things, but I will be doing Bath Mars at the end um, because, you know, you gotta stay around for the best part, but I will be doing first, I think I'm gonna be doing like miscellaneous home fragrance, miscellaneous in general, I think will be first. I have skincare slash makeup, and then I have my Bath Mars stuff. So if you guys are interested in, in any of that, let's uh, get into the video. All right, like I said, I'm gonna start off with like miscellaneous things. I got the John Deere bag for it. All right, so we're just gonna get right into it. The first thing I have is lens cleaning wipes. I use these on my glasses. Speaking of glasses, I got new glasses and I still haven't put them on. These are still old ones. Um, so yeah, I use these either from Walmart. I've been using these for quite some time. My parents used them, so I was like, sure, I'll use them as well. I don't usually use the, like I'll try to use the actual like spray and like cloth that your like glasses people, the doctor gives you, but I just like swear by these. I really like them. They're really easy to travel with. And yeah, I used a whole pack and I have another pack already and I would repurchase. Next thing I finished was biotin gummies. These are from, I think these are from Target. I think my mom bought me just the tar regular Target brand, but I like these. I mean, I've heard they're really good for your nails and your hair. My hair looks kind of really bad today, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I like biotin gummies. I've tried the regular biotin gummies in the pink, um, I think it's a pink container. Uh, but yeah, I use these. I like these. I'd repurchase. I don't really, I don't really eat my vitamins. I really should. I have some from Target that I still need to eat. So I'm not going to buy any more until I eat the ones I have. But yeah, really good. I would repurchase these. Okay, the next thing I finished was some shavers from the Shameless Signature Care. Um, this is a Jewel Osco brand. Love these. Love Jewel. Um, I just love this, this, like, these blades from Jewel because they are just really nice. I just find that they're like inexpensive and they're really nice. I don't like the big ones. I hate the big ones. I will not repurchase the big ones, but I would repurchase these shavers from the Signature Select brand. The thing I finished is a skin to mint, uh, skin therapy dry skin for shaving your legs. Every time that I go to shave my legs, I run out. Like every time I'm like ready to go shave my legs, I swear I run out. Okay. It doesn't happen every time, but it happened again. I was not prepared for it to run out, but luckily I had another one and I just bought some more. So I would repurchase this, but I, I'm, you know, living on my own now and I didn't realize how expensive these are. In a two pack, it's like $7.99. So I didn't buy them. I got the two pack that was $3.49 from Target, but I would repurchase if I wanted to, but they're kind of expensive for what it is. We'll see how I like the Target one. I'm also using one right now that may be from Walmart or Jewel, honestly, because it's not a Target. Um, but this was good. I liked it. I don't really know if I have dry skin. Like I have dry skin sometimes up here during the winter, but like it's not that bad, honestly, on my legs. So we'll see if I repurchase. 
um, it was good. I finished a hand sanitizer that was from an apartment complex that I got as a freebie back in one of the my college events and it was just a generic hand sanitizer nothing cute or fancy about the smell so it was a-okay. I finished a I don't even know if I really finished this but it's the Dior Blooming Bouquet um, little mini spritzer I don't know this was already done when I went to go spray it and I was like why have I been holding on to this I mean I can't even really smell what it was but yeah so kind of disappointed that it was already finished by the time I went to one and try to use it but what is what it is and then the next thing I finished was this nasty ass <laughs> this nasty um soap I usually use this this is like the dove bar soaps and then tiktok one time told me that's great for your face I do like it for my face but I do a double cleanse now I'm using the Aveeno oat milk or I think an oat gel cleansing one I'll insert a picture right here this is what I'm using now I go in with that and then I go in with the dove the dove bar soap and yeah I do a double cleanse I've been really liking that um, I didn't realize that I could actually take this and mold it onto the new Dove Bar Soap, but it is what it is. I finished one of them and now I get to throw this away. All right, the last things are hair care. So I finished a Batiste Dry Shampoo hair care. I don't think, I have another one. Um, It's in a different scent, but I think I'm going to re not repurchase these because like I've been, you know, we've all heard about like how many dry shampoos got recalled. I don't think this one did. I mean, I did try to do extensive reach and I'm pretty sure this one did not, but you know, it's not really good to spray an aerosol can right by your hair. So I think I'm going to invest in like actual like dry shampoo that I can like be like a foam, you know, something to put my hands and put on my hair. It lasted me a long, long time. So that's good. Um, and now I have another one. So I wouldn't repurchase because of the aerosol can, but I would repurchase dry shampoo. The next thing I finished was a Pantene hair volume multiplier conditioner. This was silicone free shampoo. I really like this. I'm still using the conditioner. It hasn't run out yet. I would definitely repurchase this maybe soon. I have a lot of my other older shampoo and conditioner still need to use. And then I also want to try out a different brand somewhat soon when I finish those. But I would repurchase. I liked it. It kind of dried out my hair a little bit. I'm just so used to... I'm so used to the other one that I've been using forever, but I used this and I, I liked it. It was decent. So we'll see when the conditioner is done. And then the last things are were just, they were just travel things. I got through a conditioner and I think this one is another conditioner, another conditioner. And this one was also a conditioner. So this was Garnier. I don't really like, I don't like any of these really because I rather just take a reusable, my own reusable like container and put my shampoo and conditioner in there because these are a waste of money keep buying and buying and buying them when you can just buy your regular size and use a different container if that makes sense when you travel and these leak so so much considering the other ones don't leak my containers don't leak but these do so that was really annoying so i would not repurchase these they did the job when i traveled would not repurchase them all right next we're gonna get into deodorants deodorants so i finished a total of three deodorants within six months crazy so they're all the same deodorant it's it, this one's kind of nasty but it's the secret of balancing minerals lavender one these usually come in a two pack together they're really nice i only buy it because of the two bag and i've just been getting used to it i would love to try different scents out in the gel deodorant since i love the gel formula but this one comes in two pack and the other ones don't so i like it a lot so we will continue repurchase i went through three and six months i thought i i think i go through like one every two months I would think this is three times two is six <laughs> so it takes me two months to finish one so yeah got through shampoo I mean <laughs> we got through deodorant and then I also finished this random deodorant I won't ever repurchase travel size deodorant I just this one ended up melting on me so yeah I had to put in a bag wouldn't repurchase a travel size deodorant I would just bring my own and then okay next is like fragrance things so I finished a I think these are called root I'll try to show you if I have it near me. So I also finished this Rue, I don't know how to pronounce that brand, but this is what I finished. It's this. Um, I got a lot of it done. You can tell. You, I don't know how you can tell, but right in there, it starts off full and then get done with it. I use these in my office because I really want to use a Scentsy or Wallflower in my office, but my building's super old that I'm like afraid to plug in a Scentsy to it and then I don't really have a good outlet to plug in the wallflower anyway so this does the trick i really enjoy this and the smell of it i had a vanilla one that's almost done they'll see in my next empties that i don't really like so i ended up purchasing these again like the raspberry one i like this one it smells really nice in my office but not the vanilla one even though i haven't used the full scent of it yet it is basically almost done i would repurchase this one <laughs> i finished a febreze bottle in lavender vanilla and comfort my grandma had given me this 
because she wasn't going to use it. It was okay. I much prefer Glade, so I probably wouldn't repurchase. I don't like the sprayer on this. It could have been just because it was old. Um, so yeah, I would not repurchase. I have one more that you'll see in another empties. And I also finished the Sheer Vanilla um, Embrace. This was so good. This was like a gallon, not gallon size. I think this was a bigger size than usual. I really like Glade. I feel like the st um, staying power is really good and the spray is usually really good. So I would repurchase this and the scent was really nice for winter time. I finished two little trees. I wouldn't repurchase these because you're technically supposed to keep the plastic on and then gradually take the plastic off. I just, that just seems like a lot of work and I don't really want to do that. Um, they smell good ish, I guess. Um, I ended up purchasing more car clips that are from like Airwick, I believe. And I really like these. The only bad thing is like, you have to like put in the, you have to like make this so it like either on or off. And like, I think I had mine at like max. So like it died really quickly. So I would repurchase though. I like the scent and it's better than these. So yeah, it was pretty good. I don't know. I really want to maybe get into the Bath and Works car clips, but I just, I don't know if I want to commit yet. I literally got my boyfriend a Bad Mars car clip and got him scents for those. And we still haven't switched out one scent that I got him like months ago. <laughs> so we'll see if I transition into that. All right, a wax melt I finished was at the fair. I thought I finished another wax melt, but I didn't see it. At the fair is from Walmart, the Mainstays brand. I really like this, except it wasn't really heavy in the throw in the open concept. I feel like maybe in a small bedroom, it'd be a heavy throw but it was a really good scent regardless um i might repurchase but not for my open concept i also mixed it with buttery popcorn the candle and i thought that was a good blend i also mixed it with the warm donut from goose creek and i thought that was a good blend but on its own it really didn't do much it was there but not like oh my god like the the room smells like churros brown sugar and funnel cake and like it wasn't like that um so yeah it was okay Maybe I'll repeat just maybe I won't. And that is all I have for home fragrance. So we're gonna get into beauty empties next. This is not bad marks, it's just in a bad marks bag. So I finished three makeup wipes. I know I shouldn't be using makeup wipes. I know I really shouldn't. Like it's really not good for me, but sometimes I'm just lazy. Um, I got two of these from Target, and then this is the Jewel Signature Select brand, no, Signature Care brand, whatever. Um, I like the they do the job. It's good when you travel and stuff. Um, but yeah, I finished those. I really want to be using my micellar water more. I did finish my micellar water. This is just a cleansing water. I have another one I've already purchased. I try to use this more, especially when I just have like mascara and eyebrows on, like I just like to use this. But if I have a full face of makeup, I usually go in with a makeup wipe, even though I know they're bad. Um, I can't believe I finished three, but I'm sure some of these were not full like in the last six months. Like I just like used a bunch, but I would repurchase maybe some makeup wipes. I'm having enough for now. I would repurchase this my soil water though. I finished this Jergens Natural Glow Moisturizer. This expired like a long time ago, but it still was going fine. I have another one I'm going to repurchase again. Um, I need another one because my other one's almost done. My other one, other one, other one. But yeah, this was really good. I liked using it in the summer and yeah, I would repurchase. It was really good. I finished my hydrolonic, hydrolonic acid. I think I'm saying that right. Hydrating acid, you know? I finished this. I got this at TJ Maxx. It was really good. I did not like the scent. It smelled like orange juice or not orange juice. It smelled like when you peel an orange. And that is one of the scents that I hate the most. Like I know when someone's peeling an orange around me because I literally hate that scent so much. And that's what this smelled like a little bit. But I got used to it after a while. Like it just, you can tell it just smells like that. I'm just like gross. But I got used to it, honestly. And then I repurchased a different hydraulic acid. I don't even know if it's a hydraulic acid, but it's an overnight serum. I'm not loving it as much right now, but this was nice when I had it. But I feel like when I got to the very end, maybe it was misleading, but I swore there was more left and there really wasn't. So yeah, um, it was good. I, I might repurchase. It's from TJ Maxx, so we'll have to see. The brand is Province, Province Beauty. So if you like it, if you want something, I would recommend if you like the smell of oranges I guess you probably like this all right I had to declutter some things I decluttered this clean and clear Persa gel it was just I think it was just gross I decluttered this one and I also decluttered I made a note for myself I decluttered it's not in here but I decluttered a Sephora foundation it was just not my shade and I used it maybe a couple times it's just not my shade so I just decluttered it I finished a different gel uh for acne I've already repurchased this. It's super expensive, but it does the job. It dries out your acne really quickly. And yeah, I repurchased this. It looks like Too Faced, but it's not. It's different gel. Uh, I got that at Target, if you're wondering. But I think Target and Walmart 
have it. So yeah, um, some makeup I finished, but I decluttered some of this makeup. It was just getting old. So I finished a chapstick and sugar cookie, pretty much all gone, but I've said it a million times. I don't like chapsticks that have the rolly thing because they break on me, but I like the scent. I don't know. It was just a sugar cookie from Chapstick. I think my mom got, got me this for Christmas. So I repurchased that, even though it's the Rolly. It's still a good scent. I finished two eyebrow pencils. Oh my god, they changed their packaging. They look really different. That's so weird. So I finished two in the blonde packaging. Can you tell they look different? Like this has like black. And then this is like the blonde color. It's hard to tell on camera, but this is like black elf. And then this says elf and blonde anyway i would purchase i'm wearing that eyebrow today i also use maybelline red pencils if you've ever seen those at walmart they don't have them at target anymore sadly i would purchase these these are my lazy day eyebrows and they do the job just fine so yeah they would purchase i have like another one already in use all right so now mascaras except i have one concealer this was just a tar concealer um in the shade fair i don't know it was okay sorry my foot fell asleep if i keep moving around i had this tart concealer it was in the shade fair. It's okay. It kind of just dried out eventually. I don't really like spending that much money on concealers. I used to like love Tarte and I was like, oh my God, everyone uses Tarte concealer. But honestly, they dry out so fast and I feel like Maybelline, CoverGirl do the job just fine. So I probably wouldn't repurchase unless it was travel size. I think my mom had gotten me this as a gift though. So thank you, mom. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't repurchase because it's just overpriced for what you're getting. All right, then we got some mascaras. I had finished two of the Lash Volume Molumus Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I finished two of them. They were okay. They dry out really fast, but I love them. So I would repurchase. I finished a Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. Love this. I already have. I have two others, but I just repurchased one. So awesome. And it lasts a long time. I finished this Milk Kush Mascara. I would, I would repurchase this so much. It's so good. I thought I lost this for a while and then I found it. Love this mascara. And then I also finished this go big or go home cap on d that was probably really good expired it was flaky and i was just like i need to get rid of this so i didn't really finish it in this past six months but i've came to realize that i probably don't need it so got rid of that and yeah so that was all my beauty empties so now we are going to get into bath and motor works all right so the first thing i finished was a candle i'm so sad i finished this but it was so good it was rainbow confetti i got this in sas in 2022 for summer and sas so good it just smells amazing. I also had, I don't know if I have it in here, but I had a rainbow marshmallow wax melt. I thought I finished. I don't know if I did. I think it was from Target and it was so good. I mixed that with this, of course, and it smelled exactly the same. So I had my two wax warmers in my living room having the marshmallow scent and I also had this hat going. It was so awesome to like just have my whole apartment smell like marshmallows. So yeah, it's like a marshmallow Fruit Loop scent. So it's not just like sweet marshmallows. Because the scent notes on this, oh, they don't have scent notes on this. But anyway, it was super good. The lit, the lit, the the wick would not lit. The wick would not light up anymore. So therefore it was done. So good. It's so sad when you finish candle, but I am going to pop this wax out and recycle this bottle. Make sure you're recycling your products. But yeah, I would repurchase this candle. It was so, so very good. I finished the free uh, laundry sample that we got a while ago. This was in the scent Sunwash Santel. I used the whole thing on um, some towel, towels, <laughs> some towels one night. It was so good. The scent was just amazing. It just, it was really nice. So I know they're kind of expensive. They're like two for 30 this weekend and regular like $16.99, maybe even higher than that, maybe $19.99. Like they're a lot. So I probably wouldn't repurchase those. But you never know. I got this for free and I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I used that. It's in this bag because it's, you know, leaking. If you had tried the sample, definitely comment down below what you thought of it and what scent you got because I could have gotten like, I think A Thousand Wishes was one of them. There were some other ones, but this was the only one that was like mm, unisex scent. And I like that when it comes to, you know, my clothes. So even though it was just on towels, I thought this was really good. So that was the next thing I finished from Bad Marks. And then we're going into, oh my God, we have so much. I'm not going to really go in order, but I'll try my best. My boyfriend got through two shower gels in six months. That's awesome. So he got through Ocean. And this one he didn't he didn't really care for. Like he says it was okay. It wasn't his favorite. Um, I think his mom had gotten this for him for Christmas, I believe. It has sent notes of Blue Cypress, Vitivere, and Coastal Air. I don't know. This one's pretty good. Like I think it smells nice. But he said it was a-okay. But the one that he does like a lot is fresh water. So I continue to repurchase fresh water for him. And I also like teakwood. 
a lot but I want to see what he thinks about teakwood I think he's using that one now but or he's using stone now anyway he likes fresh water and like a lot so I would repurchase this one for him because he likes it this one is definitely more not as, like it's manly still but it's a little more like coastal I would I don't know if that's the right word Italian bergamot, mountain spring water, and oak moss. I think the spring water makes this a little bit more fresh than ocean, where it's more cologne. Even though they're both cologne scents, I feel like this one's a little bit more fresh. And he likes it, so. He he picks this one out. I got this one for his birthday. So if he's not using this one right now, he's using stone or teak wood. There's three options he could be using. So I would repurchase fresh water for him, but I would not repurchase ocean for him, so. Yeah, but he got through both of them, so that's awesome. I finished two hand soaps. I almost finished another one, but it's not done yet, and I'm not pressuring myself pressuring myself to get it done. It will be in the next empties. So the first one I finished, like, a long, long time ago, I finished this right before I moved out of my apartment at school, was Fresh Rainfall. This was really good. It definitely just reminds me of being at school. So, yeah, it just smells like spring, semester, March. Like, that's what it smells like, and I wouldn't repurchase probably for that reason. It's really strong. If you like green scents, you would like this. It is aloe leaf, bergamot, and chamomile water. Like, it's really good. I do like it. I just, the scent association, maybe I need to wait a couple years to get that off my scent. I don't know. But it was good while it lasted. I think, I would recommend the scent if you like green scents. I think you would like it. Um, I keep smelling it because I'm like, oh my god, it takes me back. I, like, that's what the one thing I love about fragrance is that it takes you back to a time that you like, like, you're not there anymore, but that scent, like, you feel like you're there. It's weird. And then the next soap I finished that took me forever was Bourgeois Vanilla Cone. I really enjoyed this. I finished this over the summer and then into the fall. Honestly, if you haven't seen my products use it up, it's taken me forever to use this. But super, super good. I don't know if I repurchase in anytime soon. It's super light. It's, like, staple in the soap community. I mean, the Bad Marks community with dealing with soap. I feel like everyone loves the scent in soap form and yeah it was good I think I got this in 2021 so I don't know I don't know if I ever purchased I have a lot of other soaps that I'm looking forward to using so it was good while well, it lasted all right going on to full size body care for me I finished two lotions so I finished Bali Black Coconut Sands I absolutely love this scent it was so good I would definitely repurchase this scent um it was just amazing it was like a super sweet creamy coconut the scent notes on this are coconut milk, sea salt musk, and black sand. I really did enjoy it, so I would definitely repurchase if it ever brought it back. And then I also finished my set in Boardwalk Taffy slash Whipperry Meringue. I love this this summer. I used it this summer, and it was so good. I just, like, it smells amazing. Like, every summer I want to use this now, and I probably shouldn't, but I love it. If you don't know, this is Cotton Candy Clouds. It just smells like super spun sugar, and I love it. The scent notes are fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. Spun sugar, pink berries, fluffy whipped vanilla. It's the same thing. Super good. I just think it's like a really good summery scent. So I finished those. I'm super, super excited that I got through those. We're getting through. We're almost done. We got a lot of more minis. Um, the next two things I finished, I finished two lotions. I finished a Japanese cherry blossom lotion. I know it looks like I didn't finish it, but there's basically no more left. It was just like things that stuck to the sides. This is old from when it was five dollars still that's that's a time anyway it was good i got this from a friend back in 2017 it was from 2015 it was good i love japanese cherry blossom and i also got through my last i think my last super smooth in the magic in the air scent love this i would repurchase i have a full size of magic in the air i believe i want to go full see magic in the air for christmas this year we haven't seen that yet um this was from 2018 so sorry I love to use these when I travel I travel quite often so you know you'll see um empties of travel size a lot in my empties and I would repurchase both these scents especially with Japanese hair blossom my holy grail my holy grail geez next I finished a mini shower gel on the thousand wishes absolutely love this scent especially in shower gel form it's the best it was so good it's so sad to see it go I think I have another one though probably but yeah finished that old packaging but super super good i finished a little mist in aquamarine this is from 2019 i believe or 2018 i don't really know but it was really good it was it was really good it smells kind of like work like i use this a lot in my summer internship and then i used it a lot when i first started working at my new job and it smells like office now which is kind of sad because you know it's like Dang, you like had a like, really good scent that was super like floral and that just turned into a scent association scent. So it was good. I would repurchase maybe, but it just smells like my office. So sadly, but it was really good. And hopefully they bring this scent back out in anything. 
I don't know. Aquamarine. I don't know what the scent notes are. It has fragrance notes. It is ocean water, mint leaf, and wet stone. It was really good. It was like a unisex, floral, unisex scent. And I really liked it. So I would purchase. I finished three wallflowers, surprisingly. I finished a one in white caramel cold brew. This was super good. I had this in my bathroom. It was super strong. And I really, really enjoyed that one. I finished fresh cut lilacs in my bathroom. It was amazing. Super, super good. I know there's some left, but I like did not smell it anymore. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely repurchase fresh cut lilacs. And then I finished a thousand wishes. This was okay. I think I had this in open concept and I didn't really smell it that much. So maybe I would purchase, maybe not. I think I I might, no, I don't have another one of these, but it was okay. I might, I just would purchase Thousand Wishes in like body care, not home fragrance. I finished a hand cream in Snowflakes and Cashmere. This was really good. I was nervous it was going to be bad, but it actually wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I don't know. I thought I hated Snowflakes and Cashmere, but now I don't mind it. So I wouldn't repurchase it anymore, but I'm going to use what I have and enjoy it. So yeah, I finished that midsummer, even though it's a fall winter scent. So proud of myself for finishing the, all these. So a lot of these are out of season because I just needed to get them done. All right, the first one I finished was out of season. It is Frosty Coconut Snowball. I don't like Frosty Coconut Snowball when it comes to body hair, but like in hand sanitizer form, usually I'm down for anything and this was pretty good. And then I finished Candy Corn. I really like this. It went through really fast because one weekend I had went away to clean my college apartment because I was moving out of it. And then we forgot soap. So I ended up using this the whole time and it was gone by the first day like the end of the first day it was there it was really good i enjoy it it's boo raspberry super super good i want them to bring this in body care so badly all right i also finished vanilla be noel super out of season but it was really good and it was leaking so i needed to get that one done another one i finished was warm vanilla sugar super super good and i also finished pumpkin donut recently and it was super super good i i really like this one it's kind of like warm vanilla sugar but it's got like a super sweet donut scent to it cinnamon so so good so yeah i finished that and it was really good all right so i do have a little clip of what i had at home that i can like may i believe so i'll cut to that right now hello everyone welcome to the home empties this is gonna be my last time doing my parents empties i think but it is what it is so the first thing my mom finished that was actually mine before was the snowflakes and cashmere lotion this um see i can't smell it since i'm holding my phone so let me let me try to smell it for you guys lotion just smells like play-doh and that's why i gave it to her and she didn't mind it she didn't even smell play-doh like i don't know i love so thick and cashmere but i will not be purchasing a lotion um i i just like got scarred from this lotion like this particular lotion that i don't think i would purchase in a lotion again or any scent again even though like when i use it in like a shower gel or hand cream like i i enjoy it it's decent but i guess i just don't love it anymore it's not like i hate the scent like i want to love the scent but i don't love it anymore like i used to and the next things are just hand sanitizers so my stepdad finished a watermelon lemonade i repurchase he repurchases my mom repurchases we love watermelon lemonade especially in the hand sanitizer and then the other one he finished was like the sweet i have two of these i haven't used them yet but i'm assuming i like it because it's a bubblegum scent so good um and then a warm vanilla sugar which i use only in the summer to me it just gives me summer vibes but apparently it's a cookie scent like a nice warm vanilla cookie I don't know. I use it in the summer. We're both purchased. So, yeah. But that is all my empties for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was super, super long, I know. But it was just, this is six months worth of empties. I cannot believe it. I don't know if I'll do six months again, but this was super, super fun. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button and make sure you hit subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, check out my bathroom Instagram. It's Bath Buddy Love. Post empties, hauls, collections, you name it. It's all in there. Um, if you want to check out my big collection video, I'll have it linked down below. And yeah, I hope you like the new background. I think it's really cute. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in my next video. Bye!